Thank you. So now I should just start? Yeah. Yes. Very good. So today actually I bought this one. Because today our topic is a little bit compli complicated and I, which I cannot remember. <laughs> so I have to bring my this speech to talk about today's topic. And before I begin, um, that uh, I would like to say something that uh, Fame Nganjuri Nyingma Institute, it is fame in a Nganjuri Nyingma society, not here, <laughs> as she described about me, right? It says fame Nganjuri Nyingma Institute. <laughs> I think none of you heard, heard about that Manjuri Nyingma Institute. So therefore it is not fame. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so the today, uh, the, our topic is kind of like a the cosmology, I don't know what you call it, actually the exact meaning, the cosmology, I think it is about universal. And uh, so today I'm gonna, I would like to talk about that, uh, how this universe is created and uh, how it will, uh, how to say, end, enduring and how, is, how it gonna, gonna destroy it and how long it remain in a just empty space and how is how it start again <laughs> so one if you know then rest of others we don't need to talk we can just uh, it's just a coming cycle in the same cycle coming yeah coming. same cycle so before I start my topic the first there's uh, three things that you have to understand. So therefore I wanna say these three things. Uh, the first thing you have to understand, this topic is very much related with the size and the time. The size and time, so therefore you have to understand the first, that this, the way of, uh, estimating the size and time is according with the, our language, right? And uh, that, actually, the first thing you have to understand is Pakse. The Pakse in our language, Tibetan language, it's uh, same as actually, the same idea as a kilometers and mile. <coughs> but Pakse is more than kilometers and mile. First, you, what you have to understand, in order to understand the size, first you have to understand the Pakse. The Pakse, it, you, should, uh, you have to understand that uh, almost over six kilometers. By the way, you just keep in your mind six kilometers. One Pakse, six kilometers. Okay, Pakse. This is the Tse Shalegris. This is the measurement, you know? Measurement. Pakse. To measure the length. So first you have to understand that. Pakse is actually, it's over six kilometers, but you just uh, keep it in your mind that six kilometers. So it, it makes you easy to understand. <clears throat> then second, what we have to understand is Eon. The kalpa, actually, the kalpa. This cosmology, this universal, it's not related with the billion years. It's related with the eon years. So therefore, we have to understand the eon, how many years is there in, within those eon, the time. And there's a two different of eon we are, uh, how to say, calculating that one, the, the smaller, it's a smaller or what do we call it? Actually, we don't call this a smaller. We call this mediocre, the middle. 
the middle eon and the great eon. So the middle eon, this is little bit complicated here and it's also not so uh, for sure. And today I bring this accordance with the, the first Dalai Lama. He uh, calculated in one of his texts. The first Dalai Lama, one of his disciples asked, can you tell us within a one uh, middle eon, how many years are there? And within a great eon, how many years are there? And also Dalai Lama made it that quotation and also that quotation also even we have a little doubt on that uh, calculation. But however, the, the time I will tell accordance with that. So you have, you have to keep it in mind that. So therefore I told you that I have, I have to write it down because there's a no under trillion either. <laughs> One, the middle eon, the middle core eon, there's 18 numbers. 18 digits. 18 digits. So how, much, how many years it becomes? The normally billion is how many numbers? How many digits? 10, right? And trillion is? 11, 13, 14. 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. 10, Million. 11, 12, 13. Million. Yes, 13 digit, right? But here in this media core eon, there's an 18 digit number. That you have to understand first. <laughs> so there's a, another number than trillion? Do we have? What is it called? Uh, there's quintillion. Which is quintillion? Yeah. Okay. Septillion. So <laughs> the quin quintillion is becomes thousands of trillion? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. So therefore, therefore, the sum of the, our masters using, it is beyond your conceptual. That's why they are using that. Actually, if you go detail, it's like that. The first, you have to understand that the middle core eon has a set, the 18 digit number. That times 80 becomes one great eon. Times 80. Okay? So this, these are the three things important that you have to understand. Now we're going to start our topic today here. Why we have to understand this? Because this universe is from the create, creation to the empty period. There's a four kind of like a, we divide it into four uh, categories. Four categories. All these four categories could complete within one great eon. Within one great eon, our this right now where we are, this universe, it began, it will end up. So, okay. So now in order to understand this uh, universe, the universe self, universe, universe, universe. So we have to go to the four different categories. That first category is the creation. Then that I told you that media core eon times 80, right? That each, each category has a 20, 20, 20, 20, okay? Each category. The creation itself, it takes 20 uh, medial eons in order to create this universe. It will take that uh, long to complete it, our planet. 
And after that, enduring, or we can use the simple word remaining, I think. It remains another 20 middle eon. And after 40 middle eon, then it will start to destroy it. Or another word, what we can use? Jigba. Like a dissolution. Kind of dissolution. Process of process. And that itself also takes another 20 middle eon. Then after it all destroyed, completely empty, it will remain another 20 middle eon. Just space. as a nothing. That's why we call empty. That empty is something like real empty. <laughs> Not the meaning of emptiness that which we talk in a Buddhism. Actually, it's also symbolized that emptiness. Okay, however, now first you have to understand this. Then now we start from the creation. The creation, now it in order to understand the creation, that uh, we have to understand these three categories in the creation. And the basis and that which one is based on and the temba and the one that's based on the basis and the one that's based on. ま、天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天使。天
what is benefit if I learn all of this? <laughs> and this is something that teacher, your teacher choose the subject, and I choose actually. And she also asked me to talk about cosmology, and I choose this subject. And today's weather is also very matching with our topic. <laughs> Today weather is also very dull, so we just want to <laughs> stay in the dark. <laughs> and our this topic is also dull. <laughs> but okay, then this is, however, this is now the science from the Buddhist point of view. That, and on the sky, and we, how to say, in our text, it described there will gonna happen the wind at the beginning. This is now starting the creation. It will start from the wind. That wind, it's saying, in green in color, in a shape in a kind of like a vajra crossed with the fence. Vajra crossed with the fence. The shape in Vajra cross with the fence, and the color is green. That wind. And that wind. Yeah. The size of the wind or the, the length, breadth, length of the breadth of the wind. Wind. It says there's a no number, it's countless. But. But uh, the height of the, the th thickness of the wind. Oh. Thickness the saya took them boom. So the six point six point one six point one million. Now here, Pakse. Okay? That's that six kilometers. Okay? You have to, that's why I told you that you have to understand this, otherwise you will get into the <laughs> the six kilometers. That wind, the thickness of the, that wind, it says 6.1 million. 6.1 million pakse, which now, according with the kilometers, we have to times six, right? And top of that wind, then there it's it is also saying that they will gonna uh, because of that wind and that sky and it will create the rain it will create the rain and that rain is continuing following so long and that also saying that size of the those the drop of the, the drop of the drop rains of the rain. itself they saying it will the size of the nyashing like a yoke. I don't know whether anybody knows the yoke the when the olden times when they plowing the field there has a yoke for the two ox or two bull, whatever they yeah, those they put, lock. That's like about a six feet or five feet lock. So they're saying that basically the size of the drop of the rain is about six feet in length or you know, something like that. Yeah, that kind of rain and continuously following so long time and it fills it will it will remain where they it will remain on the ear the ear uh, the air element you know is being holding up the holding water that water and now that should be any galaya any the same way that the wind elements, you know, is the length and breadth is innumerable, in, incalculable. In the same way, the water is also, you know, so huge that you cannot measure the, the length and breadth of that water. But the height of that water, one point one. Uh, one million and uh, hundred and twenty thousand. The length or the depth of the water. Depth of the water, yes. 
depth of the water, it's a uh, one million and hundred and twenty thousand. Pakse. <laughs> yeah, that Pakse. <laughs> now again, kilometer times six. Right, that Pakse is accordance with the Tibetan measure. Then, and the long the Yangzhou, the long the continue. So when the wind element and the water element they're together and wind blowing and the water churning kind of thing and the essence from that comes out the earth element. Earth element. Dila Tambo Kran Shune Sundandi Sergi Sashi the Chungu is the gold golden earth. That is all gold that our this universe, planet, it's a base, it's a the gold. I think that's why these days the people are digging gold from the ocean. <laughs> Just kidding. They cannot get there. <laughs> okay, anyhow. So this is the size, it's like that. The water is the the length that you cannot measure, but the, the depth. depth that is one million one hundred and twenty thousands. And the chuda lung the subne serge sashi the chow and the serge sashi de la ta gadang and nam nigag te yores. And but you know when this earth element is formed together with this earth, I mean wind and air element, but that earth element has a measurement, there's a limit for that one. Mm. What's it, one million, that length? The breadth of that golden earth. Okay, golden earth, the breadth, it says one million and two hundred thousands and two hundred and three thousands 55 Pakse. Now again, six times. Accordance with our measure, kilometers. This is land. And the depth of the, that golden earth, it says 320 thousands. Now this is the Tenshi, Tantiris, base. So this is the base. Yeah. This is the base who is holding our universal. Now can you remain, imagine that sky holding this ear, that kind of thickness, and that ear holding the water, and that water holding that golden earth. And now that golden earth holding our universe. Now, okay, anyway, so this is the base. <coughs> I got, how to say? The first category, creation. And I told you that in order to understand that creation, we have to understand these three. Base, and, and the one that's based on that one. Based. The and then on top of this. Based and based what do you on. What call the basis? Base? Base? I don't know. What is it? Tenji. That's the foundation, Tenji. right? So this is the foundation basis, and this is on top of this one. What do you call this one now? Basis and. The it, maybe we can use like foundation. Base and something. Who and the living beings on the top. And the living being on the top who lives. Is that better? Foundation, base. Actually, foundation and base is not different, right? Same thing. <laughs> Same thing. Just imagine they got two kind of bases there. You know? Two One layers. Is the, two, you know, yes. Those layers they just talked about. On top of this, uh, the, another one. And then on top of this, the living beings. Okay. Now, the first foundation. There's a kind of like a, if we include the sky, four layers, right? Sky, wind, water, golden earth. Then above the golden earth, then, okay, we just use the base, okay, base. Uh, that, another, we are assuming that is another than foundation, <laughs> base. Now the base, which are right now we have all this mountains and oceans and uh, what do you call them? 
link, world. These are the three things now basing on the, the golden earth. That golden earth and water and the wind again continuously the soup, soup ale. It's kind of a coming together, this mm. earth and those, I mean, uh, air and water and those things together, you know. Then all of our, this world, mountains, big mountains, all of this are happening kind of like popping up everywhere. <laughs> then, 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 Okay, so the mountain, when we talk about the mountain, the base, when we talk about the base, we also talk about now mountain, ocean, and world, or the, what we call, we can call planet, 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 yeah, earth. planet, planet earth. earth, okay, top of those, those. then there's, a, those are because of Again, they are tuk They are kind of churning. They are coming churning. together of those, you know, yeah. coming together wind and those water elements. And the golden earth. earth. Then those, the Mount Meheru. Have you heard about Mount Meheru? Yes. The Mount Meheru, it's happening because of this shake. Then the Mount Meheru with the another Surrounding the Mount Meru, the another eight different mountains. The another eight different mountain, each mountain has a name. Yes, we call from starting from Mount Meru, then Nyashingzin, Sholdazin, Tanadu, Namdu, all of those has a, uh, those mountain has a, their own name. And each of the between those mountain, there is an ocean. For let's say like this, this is to mountain, between the mountain, there's a uh, water, there's an ocean. And so-called what, until the eight, right, Mount Meru to the eight mountain, inside those ocean or those water, it's say, these are very clean and pure water, not like our ocean, dirty water, salty water. It also says, between those Mountains, whatever the oceans, that all are very pure, drinkable, and also we, we say as the water itself has a eight qualities. Kind of like a qualities that when you drink, it will be very smooth, when you get in the, how to say, your stomach, and there's no any problems. Those kind of quality, natural quality of water which in our ocean doesn't. Anyway, so after the eight, and each mountain has also size described. Anyway, so the now after the eight mountain to the last one, ninth, ninth one, the ninth one is the kind of like a blocking this our ocean to not to felt out. The last kind of like a, uh, mountain and between that eight and the ninth mountain the length of how to say space of between these two it says it is three hundred and twenty two thousand parkse three hundred and three hundred uh, how to say three hundred and twenty two thousands yes three hundred and twenty two thousand between the last mountain and the eighth mountain. Then this, between these two mountains, that we have this salty ocean. And on the salty ocean, our planet. Now here, this is a little bit, uh, here has a question. Right? Scientific, I heard that scientists are also trying to Figuring out the, where is the located Mount Meru. Now we have to measure this. Where we are, and between the first mountain and the our this, this last mountain, how far is it? It is, it is, 
322,000 now kilometers times six. In this our world, from Australia to the uh, Alaska, right? Australia to the Alaska. I saw in a CN Tower, isn't it? The day measured. I believe, if I'm if I'm not wrong, they wrote it kind of like a 24,000 kilometers from Alaska to Australia, the long one, right? So 24,000 is nothing here. Here, just between these two, is a 322 pakse, not kilometers. Now this pakse times six. Now how many become? Do you, some some of you are are say familiar with the math? Six, six times three, eighteen, probably one point eight million. One point approximately one point eight. One point eighteen million. One point eight, yeah, something. One point eighteen million. Six, one point eight million. Eight million. Okay. One point eight million. Sudhu kharla wish. Kilometer. Okay, kilometer. One point eight million oh, kilometer. Approximately little less than two million. So the now 1.800 kilometers <laughs> fly with the, our jet. How far our jet could fly? That's why it's saying there's a no way you can find it out the Mount Meru. Because it is over from our, this technician. It is not reachable with our this technician. But still, they are trying. It's good. Yes, we have to try <laughs> our best to get it, the result. But now, if we understand this distance, then we can understand a little bit why so far we couldn't found the Mount Meru. <laughs> right? Now, right now, this measure is we are just talking about the eighth mountain and the last mountain. Even after you get there, then there's, there's a, you have to cross the another seventh mountain. Then you will get the Mount Meru. Also, okay. Anyway, so now this is the second one that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the mountains and the ocean and the, our, this planet or world. And on this world, then six different beings, six different categories beings, it will start to uh, begin. Actually, the Buddhist science, what we say that when this the when this outer world, outer world it will create from ground, from the bottom. Beings are following from the up to down. So anyway, so uh, among the 20 middle eons, the one middle eons takes to create everything. Now this, so far, what we call, it will take one middle eon to create it, complete create it. Then after that, now start the begin, the beings are borning on this, our planet. So the now one, one middle eon, there's a, I don't know what is number, 18 digit number as I told you at the beginning, right? It will take 18 digit number years to build our this universe. Then after that, it will start the the Karzwara Semjin the Zuta Ma Chaya Gotsubudis. After this the living beings and started to form and populate in, 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 on this world. Mm. Then now how we how we we will measuring that where it gonna end. In Buddhist science, they use this this uh, tsudi, the duration of the time. Duration of the time, that 
as long as one being born in a hell, now this is it. It will take 19 middle core, middle eon, to be, to born one being in a hell. So beings are following from up. They are very long life at the beginning. Then they get shorter, 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 shorter. And very shorter is the human. Then after that, an animal. Then after again getting back longer, 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 longer. We are animal and human is kind of like a middle. From the God and the demigod, they are very long. Life is very long. And we human, an animal, short. Then after pretas and hell beings, again they are very long. Even in a hell being, some of them longer than the God. Much more longer than the God, their life. So, what we have to understand now here, the after one middle eon, then being will start to begin on this planet. Then they will fall down, down, down. So when the beings form in this world, the population and populated in this world, it populates from the up. So when we're talking about the beings, we have the six beings, right? So the gods, demigods, humans, and all those beings. So they start from the up, from the god, and then start to populate down, down, down. And the last one is the hell beings. So when that hell beings you know, started to born into the hell, that takes that one whole middle eons. Eight, 19, Eight, 19 eons. 19, 19 middle, middle eons. eons. It will take... One being, okay, one being, to be until born. the one being to be born in the hell. It will take that long. So until that moment, this is we call Chabikalba. That's creation eon. Once the being or being is born in a hell, then there's no other being than hell, right? So now this is complete. We are created everything. <laughs> We created this planet. We created six different beings. Now we are done. There's a no more we need to create. <laughs> so until that moment, it, it is considered as a creation. Okay? Then, now... Okay. Okay, I will tell you this at the end. Maybe it's better at the end. Then now, after this complete the creation, then the next category is enduring or remaining. That remaining is also same time, 20 middle eon. That 20 middle, 20 middle eon, it's also that now, in order to understand that 20 middle eon, the remaining, Again, now we have to understand there's a Karsuri. Dipa dang, Peljipema chobje, Dipa chik, Peljipema chobje, and Peljik. This is the name of the Nebi Kalba de Hako. So during this enduring period, you know, you have to think about like, you know, there's a decreasing and then, uh, and then mixed with increasing, decreasing, and then increasing time. Mm. Or, or we can understand Thoma Bharatang Thama. Or we can just categorize, uh, categorize into three different, you know, beginning, middle, and end. Beginning, middle, and end. Or another way of, it's, if, we, if you want to understand a little bit deep, then I think we should use that. Decrease and decreasing and Mixed, you know, enhan people, you know, enhancing, enhancing, enhancing yeah, and decreasing. decreasing. There's a one decreasing and Enhancing and decreasing mix 18 to 1, okay? To 
So one increase and one decrease. That's one pair. One pair. That 18 times. And at the end, uh, pel, pel chik. And then there's one in, increase. Enhance, one. one increasing or one enhance. During this period, we beings are remaining on this planet, on this universe. We can, uh, we are for sure that we are living within this period. We are not going anywhere unless you get liberated. <laughs> That's the only way you can get out. If you, until you get liberated yourself, we are within here. Then, now this decreasing, why are we using this decreasing? It says, in even human beings at the beginning, they are very long life. Much longer than right now what we are at the beginning. Then now why we are using this decreasing? It because that Tselopame ne chini chubagapardula. The decreasing life is. Yes. So the lifespan of the human beings, you know, in the beginning there was an innumerable, you know, it's very, very long life. And then it slowly, you know, it degenerates kind of, it decreases in the lifespan and goes all the way down to 10 years. So that period is called the decreasing period. The reason why we call this decreasing is because from the innumerable, in, incalculable, the lifespan, down to 10 years, you know, every 200 years, one year is being decreased. One year, one year, one year, one year. Okay, now, when Buddha Shajamuni came on this planet, that time is considered our human's life is 100 years, that time. Now already 2,500 years ago. Now how many years are already decreased? One every year, 200, every 200, yeah. yeah, every 200, one year decreasing. So 25 divided by 2? 12, 12. So 12 it's kind years of, is decreased. So now Still kind of like kind of thing? 88. Average, <laughs> our average is 88. This is kind of talking about general human beings, how long they live. Some of them maybe a little bit longer than that, some of them shorter than that, and most of us at that level, I think. So anyway, so now it's saying why we use this decreasing, because it decreasing the year of human. Therefore, we use this decreasing. As I told you, it is better than using the begin, the decreasing, right? And decreasing, decreasing has uh, some meaning. <clears throat> Began, then no, no meaning. So, anyway, so it will decrease that way. And right now, where we are. And going, we are getting shorter, shorter each and every 200 years. One year shorter and shorter and shorter, shorter, until the normal of human beings lives until 10 years. That's science of Buddhist now. Anyway, so this is the one in order to understand the Nebi Kalba the Hakogudi, the Hakogures, decreasing down, any mix of the increasing and decreasing and the increasing. At the end, we call increasing, but it doesn't mean increased and go up, no. Increased and go down again back to down But we use this increasing because compared to the those middle 18 it will go high up than those Therefore we use this increasing time, but at the end it will have to go down And kind of like a Then after okay now during this period we call this is the remaining, the beings are remaining on this universe. So 
So in order to understand the second category which is remaining, now you have to understand this one. Now, during this time, now in accordance to the point of Buddhist science, let, let me say that Buddhist doesn't use science, okay? But let me use this. <laughs> the point, from the point of Buddhist science view, that when human beings are, could live the 80,000 years, at that time, among the thousands of Buddha, the first Buddha, the Korwajik, his name was Korwajik, like Shajamuni. Shajamuni is his name, right? The Korwajik is that first. First Buddha means the among the thousand, okay? Doesn't mean very first. It's among the thousand that from, from the Buddhist point of view, it's, we consider that during this remaining time, right, decreased and all 18 and enhanced, within this period, all those thousands of Buddhas are appearing on this planet. The, so far, four Buddhas are already appeared. 996 yet to appear. That first Buddha appeared on this planet when human beings are, could live 80,000 years. Then second Buddha, uh, Sirtuk, his name was Sirtuk. The Sirtuk, Buddha Sirtuk, he came on this planet when human beings could live 40,000 years. Then the third Buddha, his name was Vesum. He was appeared, he, he, he was, came on this planet when human beings could live the uh, 20,000 years. And after that, Buddha Shajamuni is camped when human beings are 100 years of age. But Buddha Shajamuni himself, he passed away 81 years or something like that. But however, okay, the average, the average, the Shajamuni Buddha came on this planet and the hundred age of human beings. So now, now it is going down, decreased until 10. Then at that moment, Buddha Mitriya will come. That's the future now. Buddha Mitriya. Then it will go up again 80,000, go down 10, 80,000, 10, 80,000, 10, 18 times. Our this universe remaining until that. Two thousand twelve. Where is two thousand twelve? <laughs> you saw that two thousand. Do you saw? Did, did you saw that two thousand twelve movie? It gets very scared, all of us, right? We are very scared that now we're gonna lose our this wonderful planet. <laughs> But from the Buddhist point of view, it will remain, still yet to remain so long. Then, okay, this is the remaining time. This is remaining, it's also, it's also, it's also same time as the creation time, 20 mediocre eon. Then after that, now the third category. The third category is the destroying destruction. Yeah. Destruction. The destruction. Destruction is also taking same period, same time. And now, how we can understand? Now it begins the destroy time, right? So now that how we can understand, and it's it is says that when stopped beings are born in a hell that time now it start the destroying of this planet 
when beings are uh, sorry, stop being born in the hell. Stop world. being born in a hell. And also beings who are in a, already in a hell, when they passed away, they will not born again on in the same place. They have to leave. Now this place has to go. <laughs> anyway, so that is the beginning of destruction accordance with the science of Buddhist. Then from there and it will destroy the uh, it will take 19 middle eons. The first how to say, first Tambo, draw the Mevachagres, near the Mevachagres. So, when the dissolution, the destruction process begins, the first it starts with the beings, living beings. The earth or the planet itself will remain, remain there. First, it starts from the beings. Beings. First, beings are completely going out. It will take, until beings are completely go out, it will take 19 middle eons to go out from this universal universe. Then after that, that real destroying over this planet, it's happening. It will take only one middle eon to destroy it. At the same time as a great creation. It will take the same time to destroy it. And that destroy it The, after 19 middle eon, now there is no living being in this, on this universe anymore. Then it's that now this is, we, we, in our text we said, there is a first destroyed by the fire. Then the second destroyed by the water. Then third destroyed by the wind. Then after wind it will just remain empty space. Okay, anyway, now this fire and water and wind, these trees are coming orderly. And that order, all of three, this sunga zoyala, and parkalchik So it will take one million eons to complete this destruction by these three elements mm -hmm. the fire, the Ta, wind, and the water. Ta, the meg jigba dela, and so it is said that in the, when the destruction by fire occurs, you know, it occurs from the sun. You know, we have one sun planet in this planet, right? Then the second sun will appear, three, four, five, up to seven suns will appear. And because of the heatness of the seven suns, you know, it started to burn away all the things in this uh, starting planet, from starting from the smallest, smallest tiny things. To the Mount Meru. The Mount Meru, high of the Mount Meru, it's uh, uh, 160 Pakse, that mountain. Now times six, right? According to kilometers. Then now you can consider how it is high. And this, our planet, sky is blue because it says because we are facing south of the Mount Meru. The Mount Meru itself, four direction has a four different uh, qualities. That east of the Mount Meru, it's white or the silver color. South of the Mount Meru is the Banduria color, which is blue. And the west of the Mount Meru color is the red, the Pemaraga. And the north of north side of the Mount Meru, it's golden, the yellow. Right now, this. The south, the Zambuli, the world. Our sky, 
we, we'll, we see blue because of the, that reflection, that Bandurias blue color reflection. That's why we're seeing our sky is blue. Anyway, so this is kind of like a side topic, right? So anyway, now, in order to understand the, the third category, the destroying, okay? It will start, the, when it is start, means the, how to say, stopped being born human in a hell. Then start from there until 19 middle eon to complete the beings first. Then after that, one middle eon to destroy all this, our universe, planet. That it destroyed by first fire, that fire is kind of like this. We consider that first, the one sun, it's natural right now. And it will, appearing another sun, it will hit more up. And third sun, some scholar, now this has a little bit debate among the Buddhists as well. Some scholar, they saying, they, those, uh, they said the sun, uh, seven sun, actually it doesn't mean the seven different sun. It means the seven times hit. Seven times hit than what we have sun. What the power of sun right now what we have. Some scholar describe that way. It is kind of like a becoming now. <laughs> this is way of explaining the thing. Uh, you know. so that just, just, just let you know. So whatever. But it will burn up. Whether seven sun appears or whether one sun with the seven times heat whatsoever over this planet is going to burn by the fire. Then after that, then rain again. And rain and it will kind of like a cleaning all those uh, messy, all those messy things will washed up by the water. And then after water and the, again the wind and it will blow up everything. Then it will end, they destroy it. Then after that begin the uh, 20 middle eons of remaining in empty. What? The uh, fourth category. Now, the fourth category. The empty. Right? Just remaining on empty. Shigne tong de namka chigingang parkal nishu yunda nyamba wos. Shigne, swa, shigne tong de namka chigingang du parkal nishu yunda nyamba wos. So the same thing, you know, there's another 20 million eons will remain there after the destructions, you know, after the last destruction has begun, you know, and then it will remain like that for 20 million, million eons. Now, okay, what is the point of understanding this? What is the point of understanding this? It's, now let me tell you this one. Okay, before I, st le before I told this, let me go through this one first. And after that, after <coughs> middle 20 eons, then it will, it will start again. It will start again. <coughs> and destroy. Empty. Again. It's like that. Now, that's why we call cyclic existing. It is round, and now we are thinking that, oh, we are the greatest human than before. We have all this technology and everything. Actually, this already happened before. We are the not first. This already happened, some of smart, and also some other planet beings are smarter than human. They created lots of advanced technician than us, much more advanced. Believe or not, it's there. It is kind of like, a, there's one television show, you know? Believe, believing or not, <laughs> doesn't matter. But 
it don't care about your believing or not <laughs> that means believing or not it is there okay so however now this four that when it completes all of those four categories it takes one great eon one great eon to complete begin to the empty it will take that long that one great eon i told you 80 times of middle core eon and one middle core eon 18 digits number we don't have number still even we don't have number yet yes what do you think do we have number that name do we have probably probably yeah. <laughs> sorry oh sorry about that <laughs> i should silent my phone forgot to silent because i uh, washed by rain so much on the way we are very hurried to get inside so anyway so this great eon from the buddhist point of view we call great eon because all those thousands of Buddhas are appearing and shown the path to everybody to get liberated from this universe. If, if we live in this universe, there's a no end. We have to born again, die, born again, die. Now, what is the, what is the, beside that, what we can understand? Also, each and individual human beings are also going same situation, these four. Creation, remaining, and destroyed, and empty. We are too, if, we think, if you think very careful with yourself. Kind of like a weekend category, like once we, our consciousness enter into the mother's womb, now this is kind of like a begin. We are creating our form, creating, 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 nine months and ten days, right? We are creating. Then after you're born, still you are creating, creating. You have to get grow, right? Creating, 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 creating. Once you get adult, then now you're remaining very fresh and handsome, beautiful, and whatsoever. You are trying to maintaining that your best to maintaining but however you put effort doesn't matter you can't effort longer than 20 30 years <laughs> then you have to lose all your these things now when it, it start losing your this freshness it means now you start the destroying the destroying right then after you died you will remain in empty just empty for a moment then again, accordance with the your karma, and you will take another form. And you start beginning, creation, 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 creation. And remain, try to remain fresh and handsome, beauty. And losing everything, everything, losing now, destroying, decreasing, decreasing. It's like that. <clears throat> this is natural. Whether you like or dislike, doesn't matter. It is what it is. So, better to like. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. If you like it, then you will not gonna hurt yourself. If you dislike it, you will gonna hurt yourself, plus it will not gonna change. It is, that is natural. Right? Nobody can live like this fresh forever unless you get liberation now again here like Padma Sambhava unless you get enlightened 
Okay, so however, through this point, we can understand that. And beside that, and, uh, and also what we can understand this, is that in Buddhist teaching, that we are saying this precious human rebirth, it's very precious. And top of that, encountering with the Buddha's teaching, it's very precious. We are saying that, right? If you understand all this period, then you can understand why it is saying precious. Why it is saying the you are very lucky. Because so far, today I am here because I already start from there, there, again and again, again and again, again and here. I didn't get liberated myself. I'm here today, still I'm here. But now I get a little bit idea about path of liberation in order not to go all the remaining uh, time, in order not to go through all the remaining time. I hope I will not remain <laughs> all with the all others' remaining time. I may get out soon from this cyclic existence. I get very tired. Come again, born, die, born, die, born, die, born, die. That our this universal is also like that. Born, die, born, die. Now, and also among this, within this great kalpa, and Buddhas are only showing on their time, right? For example, right now, Shajamuni Buddhas is already shown up, and he's already passed away, but still we are rem the, the, the remaining his idea until today. But how long it can be remain? No. It cannot be remain forever. One day it will gonna disappear. That what we in also in a, the uh, Buddhist point of view, and when human beings are getting thirty age of year, after that there will be gonna lot of problem. The first problem ten years. It's until 10 years, until 10 year decrease. 200 year, one. Each 200 year, one year decreasing, right? Which means 20,000, uh, what do you call it? 20,000, right? Oh, 2,000. Where 10 so, years, no, 10 years decrease, 10,000. 10, oh, no. 10 years decrease, 20,000. 2,000. 2,000. 2,000 years will decrease 10 years, right? Ta celo sumju ne chini chuba ge pardola tambo o kasore muge ge chikba ne ge chikba tsung ge chikba ta didiu kasola manzo ge universe de la nyokta tsashu de didiu yongure sungu yore se. So it is said that you know when the human lifespan become 30 years old, you know 30 years you know lifespan, and between 30 and 10 years old, 10 years age, you know that lifespan. So then at that during that time, lots of different types of you know conflicts and the problems will arise in this world, and beginning with the famine, diseases, and then with the weapons, it could be war or other things. Always going to be war. Actually, these are the, right now, if you look right now, what we are doing on this planet, it will decreasing our planet. Therefore, we're saying this is very, for you, it's very fortunate and lucky to get these ideas. Now you have idea, whether you go out or not, it's totally upon you. And Buddha Shajamani himself, he also said that. I shown the path of liberation. Whether you want to liberate it yourself or not, it's totally upon you. I cannot do anything. I can't take you like this and put it on the liberation. That I cannot. That's what he said. And that is not just he said, that is reality actually. That's reality. That is truth. But however, if we 
Therefore, it also that that's we're saying this is very lucky time that we met. Then, especially those Vajrayana path is still remaining on this planet right now. That Vajrayana path is considered as a much more swifter than Sutrayana path, what Shajamani Buddha has shown. Actually, Vajrayana is also shown by Shajamani Buddha, but he didn't show as a as a kind of like a openly and a publicly because this is a little bit hard to believe harder than uh, believe in Sudrayana some of people Sudrayana also they don't believe <laughs> then where this the Vajrayana teaching or far if you cannot believe the Sudrayana Vajrayana teaching is we can't believe even more difficult to believe. So however, that's why we are saying right now, you get this form, it's precious human people, and plus you encounter with the Buddha's teaching, which is the path of liberation, is on your hand. So therefore, this is saying all the masters openly, wherever you go teaching some of the Buddha's, Buddha's or the Buddhist master, they will say that. And some of us may get bored by hearing that again and again. Or you have a very wonderful opportunity right now, and you have a also plus that very precious human birth which you get it. And plus, you are very lucky that you encounter with the Buddha's teaching, and especially Vajrayana's teaching, you have it. Also, you are very lucky, they will say. Maybe you have heard so many times that, and even today you are hearing. <laughs> but it is what it is. It is if, we, if we look all this period, then we can understand why this is very short and important. Right? Okay, now even those Buddhas are coming very gap, so much gap, right? 80,000s to 40,000s. How much gap there are? They are only decreasing one year in a 200 years. Now how much different gap that Buddhas are coming? And like that. And rest of other also like that. Buddhas are not coming oftenly. They're coming time by time. And whether you are, whether you born at that time human or not, that's your luck, that's your karma. If you are not born in human, then doesn't matter. These teachings doesn't work for right now anymore. This Buddha's teaching doesn't work for them. You know. So if we consider that, then we can understand that how we are lucky, human beings. Even the human beings. In this same planet, same world, there's so many people, they have no idea who is Buddha and what is liberation. They have no idea about that. You see? So now that's why it becomes very rare now. When you, when you understand all these four categories, then you can understand the preciousness of this opportunity and why all those masters are saying that you are very lucky, lucky, lucky all the time, oftenly. Anyway, so the after, after empty, then after that, it's called Menkal Trukchu Chongres. So that's called the dark eon, 60 dark. 60 dark great eons. eons. Okay, the 60 great eon, all of them we call dark eon. Dark eon, that all great, 60 great eon, that same period, same that start the creation and this all same 60 times. That we, those we call dark because there's no, but no Buddha coming on those period. Nobody will show the path of liberation 
during that, those times. Now again, if you think, if you remain continue, then you have to go this. You have no choice that you have to go all these 60 dark eons, dark great eons. You have to go. And during those times, there's a no sound of liberation. That's why we call this is dark. There's a no light. No light doesn't mean this. A dark eon because there's a nobody can show the path of liberation. You have to stay again and born and die, born and die, born and die. All those 60 great eons. Then after that 60 great eon, then, let's say, happening that call the karma. Your name is karma. Kalpa karma. At that moment, countless of Buddhas are coming, it says. Countless of Buddhas, not like this yon, even better than this yon. Countless of Buddhas are coming at that moment. But we can't wait until that. Do you? How many years within this one great eon? Can you wait that long? Okay, so this is our uh, today's my topic. <laughs> I think it's end. It's end now. I'm I'm finished. <laughs> so if you have question, then we can we can discuss. Actually, I like discuss. No? more than talking. Can we go back to the dark eon and when it, when the countless Buddhas are coming? Like, after, after the after, great eons? No, after this our universe is complete, mm -hmm. empty, remain in empty, uh, 20 middle eon, then after that, start to begin again, creation. Then that creation, all of that we call dark eon. One, two, three, four, five, six, until 60 great eon, which means 60 times universe happening, destroying, happening, destroying, happening, destroying, happening, destroying, appearing, destroying, appearing. How can I say now? Appearing, disappearing, appearing, disappearing. What word are you good for understand? Appearing, disappearing, or or happened and destroyed? Which word is better? Appearing, disappearing. Appearing and disappearing, I think, yeah. Appear and disappear, one, right? All those four categories which we'll go on through has to go. That means, Right now, when I say appear and disappear, <laughs> it is like two seconds, right? <laughs> it is not, actually it is not two seconds, okay? It is one great eon, which means 80 middle eons, which means 18 digit number. <laughs> okay, we have to go through this way. Then we can understand that how it remains, how, how it long, how, what is it? So how long is the how long is it for one year? Okay. How long is it? Just to confirm, there's a certain amount of human souls or human, like they can't be created. They just go from body to body to body, right? Um, and as time goes on and people find the path of the Buddha, they can escape the cycle of appearing and disappearing. So is there an eventual end game in which there are no humans, in which everyone has found this path and become... Um, enlightened and achieve this realization? Is there an eventual point in this cycle where humans have taken their life and all escaped? Yes. Yes. That's totally upon us. Whether we take that path or not. If we take that path, it can be empty. If we didn't take that path, 
it has to go all this dark 20, dark 60 great eons, and at the end, that uh, another, this is not at the end, actually I shouldn't say end, that after that 60, then there's one kalpa, one great eon, that so many countless Buddhas are coming and showing path to each and every sentient being, trying them to liberate from this cyclic existence. But unfortunately, during those 60 great eons, nobody will appear. Yeah? Um, yes, I'm sorry, you mentioned this already, but then once um, you're liberated, like, what form do you take, or like, where do you go exactly? Because, like, you know, you don't see, like, a bunch of, like, liberated beings, like, walking around, <laughs> or at least not that I know of. <laughs> like, um, where do they go? <laughs> There's a no, no, no place to go. You are what you, how to say, where you are right now, you are there. There's no specific place to go. You can liberate it by yourself with this form. Doesn't matter. And also the form, actually we get this form because of our own karma. So if you, and that karma is totally depending on your afflictive emotions. As long as you have these afflictive emotions, karma is there. It is also like you, whether you dislike or like. Karma is there. But now you think, now you have to, how to say, analyze very careful whether our afflictive emotions are kind of like, how can I say now, curable or not. What do you think? Um, whether they're curable or not? Mm -hmm. um, Get rid of able or not? I'm sorry? Get rid of. Um, well, I guess you could. It, it is get rid of able. How can I say? Get rid of able. This is something not good. <laughs> able to get rid of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is able to get rid of, right? Yeah. That means karma is also able to get rid of. That means your this form is also able to get rid of. It is all like that. If it is possible, then all of that is possible coming. If it is not possible, then all of this are not possible. Okay. Now, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. That also, we also say that. There's a pure land, and if you pray, you can go there to meet Amitabha Buddha, and all of that. Yes, it is. But, okay. For example, I will give you one example, then maybe you can understand that way. This, this paper, right? This paper, Heart Sutra, right? That Heart Sutra, do you like this reading? Um, yeah. Yes? Okay, so you are the not example. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who doesn't like Somebody it. who doesn't like to read this text? Is anybody doesn't like to read this text? Nobody. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Now, do you think there if is there somebody who doesn't like to read this? Yes. 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 Right. For that person, <laughs> this is not pure. <laughs> this is something dirty for him or her. But for you, this is pure. Right. This is something you like. And pure land is like that. When you get cure all this, all this, clean all this afflictive emotions, then all is pure. 
and you are happy. So you are in pure land. <laughs> Everything is pure for you. There's a nothing dirty for you. When you didn't clean that, clean up that afflictive emotion, then they are dirty. Then not everything is pure. Then that means he or she is not in a pure land. He or she in a dirty land. <laughs> so this is a small example. Okay? So pure land means what I what I wanna want you to understand the pure land actually not necessary to go somewhere. But for the some people that we have to say that. If you didn't say, it doesn't work. Therefore you have to say. Eventually we have we have to let them understand the meaning this is the pure land and non-pure eventually but not 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 every categories are same right now category category not all humans intelligence is not intelligence same. are same right different intelligence so you need different teaching You asked that question, that's why I gave this answer. Maybe some of you get a little bit dis disappointed. <laughs> but, however, it doesn't matter. Okay? So you have a question? Yeah? Um, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that you said for the universe, um, surrounding Mount Miro, there's eight different planets. And no, in, eight different. Mountains. Sorry, mountains, sorry. And in between are oceans with clean, pure water. Mm -hmm. And ours, our universe, is in an ocean facing the blue side mm -hmm. of Mount Miro. So my question is, in the other oceans, are there other universes there? Are, are the other oceans? Because you said... Other that, world, yes. Yeah, yeah, other, other world, world is there. In the yes. other oceans? Yes. We are in the south, there is there are world in the east, world in the west, world in the north. And side by side, there is a small island, two island. Each world has a two. And it also said those small are half of the size of actual world. For let's say, for example, this world, which we have right now. And we have also two side island, okay? Each side island, the size of the island is half of the world. Is there? Half of the world is there. So we are total one, okay? And east, okay, so doesn't matter. East we call actually Shar Lupa, and there's a lot of detail in there. That we call Shar Lupa Po, Nupalanche, and we call Lo Zambuling. The Zambuling is actually, I think, a uh, little bit uh, broken Sanskrit word, I think. In Jambu Sanskrit, in, in Sanskrit, Jambu Dvipa. The Jambu Dvipa, we Tibetan, that Jambu Dvipa made it Zambuling. The Jambud, Jambud Vipa, it's actually the, one of the flowers' name. That unique flower we have on this south planet, south world. So south world named by that flower. And east we call Shar Lupapo. The, the east beings are, what do you call them? Lupapo, Lupapa. They said that their body is in the huge ones. The, the no, sublime body. one. The sublime compared to the, the we, human. They are much more handsome than us. 
much more beauty than us. Yes, and much more stronger than us. That's why they call it the sublime body. They are named. They named by that because of their beings are very uh, handsome and beauty, much advanced, much more than us. And there's a Palanche, Dominion. All of those names has a reason why they call. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm quite fascinated by this concept of our average human age decreasing or increasing. So you said that the lowest it can go is 10 years. Okay. Does that mean that in those 10 years we age faster, or is it literally 10 year olds running around? No. We we completing whole our life. Okay. Yes. So right now, what you faster. yes, <laughs> you kind of like a, let's say you are getting adult quickly, marry quickly, and die quickly. Get age quickly. Okay? Get old quickly. Sometimes we we, we saw some movies, right? Small, small. Little bit. Very funny. Uh, one day we'll become funny. Actually, this subject is for me to study when I receive this teaching. I think it almost take 10 days, two weeks. Here, we are trying to get within two hours. <laughs> and yes, that 10, two weeks, 10 days, each session, two hours. I here try to make it short and possible. Yeah. Another question is, um, you is this, has this, let's say, has this always been known, has this always existed this way, or or have there been sort of, let's say, um, debates where, you know, someone would say, actually this is how it looks like, or actually this, I mean, I guess my question is, ha has Buddhist there's a any, there's a any uh, contradictor, yeah, like contradictions, yes. contradictions or and them. argue, yeah. debate or not, right? And also, has there ever been any influence or tension with mm. science from, let's say, the Western developments? Yeah. This general information, kind of like a, this universal, it's uh, start to the end, it will take one great eon, and those eon has an 80 middle eon, there's a no contradiction. But when you get deep into the age number, then yes, there's a little argue here and there. Oh, no, no, this is not right. It's there. It's there, yes. And is there now also the, sometimes... But the general information about this, there's a no argue. All of Buddhists understand this one. And how, how does um, Buddhist community interpret or understand? Oh, uh, not necessarily all Buddhists, sorry. That, and we Buddhists also has a, some of them uneducated, okay? Not necessarily every Buddhist are educated. Okay. Some, some we have Buddhists, you know? My, father, my parents following, I'm just following, right? There's a, no another more reason than that. That is that kind of Buddhist is also there. Actually, let me tell you this. Buddhist path, you can practice the Buddhist path in a two way. One is using one's own logic and another is totally depend on authentic teacher. 
Yes, there are two ways. Either way, you can get liberated. But the logic, it just take a little long because we have to analyze too much. You know, analyze, it will take so long your time. Right? Okay, sorry, I disturbed your question. No, yeah. Um, it was just, uh, how, does, how does, let's say, the Buddhist cosmology or the community interpret uh, astronomy that has developed since... Astronomy. Uh, astronomy. That has developed since the 1800s, 1700s. Yeah, this that sort of Western science of the universe. Uh. I don't know about Western how they look. <laughs> <laughs> but is there does it absorb like other I told you that the the angle we look <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I told you that angle we look. Now, now as a scientist, actually, you know, let me tell you this. That is why also we consider as a Buddha is omniscient. Because he taught all of this. You know? And one proof I can make very clear that is very within this our generation. Now we have to say that. If we didn't say use this, then after generation they may get lost that idea. Okay, let me tell you this. At the beginning, I think 20 years before, or 30 years before, I think 20 years before, because I am, I am aware. The scientists are saying, I also saw, scientists are saying, there are nine worlds. This is it. Right? Nine planets. Nine planets. This is it. There's no more than nine. The kind of, what do you call it, Marie Curie, Marie Curie, Marie Curie blah, 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 blah. there's a nine, sun is there, all nine is there, rounding, right? Now, scientific, oh, no, no, there's a more than nine, <laughs> which actually Buddha already taught. Now, this is also one proof that at Buddha's time, there's a no technician, right? Know these machines that he can look. Maybe he have those, but he's hiding, right? <laughs> he's hiding in a jungle. He's hiding in a his uh, his kind of like a tzaga kamal hello with hut, with hut inside the hut. He is hiding. Maybe he looking all those planet. Oh, how many worlds are there? And he writing all this scripture. I'm just kidding. No, no, he's not doing that. <laughs> he actually, he taught all of this. And he also said there's a numerous universe. Countless. You can't count. He already taught that 2,500 years before. For example, I told you right now, the 30 years before scientists, they're saying nine planets. Now, after 30 years now, oh, they're saying no, no, no. There's a many than more than nine, right? Now they are saying, they're, oh, there should be countless. So this is how it proves. These are the evidence that how he's, what he taught already those. And there's so many another reference as well that I don't want to put everything here in. Try to like make buffet, no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so our world is in the south, and then there's also worlds in the north, in the east, and the west. Mm. But do they all interact with each other? Like how our lives are so dependent on karma, and all our karmas affect each yeah, other? Yeah, absolutely, all... absolutely. But would it be like? As long as they are being, yeah, they are under karma. Oh. Mm-hmm. But if they're human beings, because like animals human. don't have courage. No, they are no animals. Have yes, courage. why not? Okay. Animals are being. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Animals are being. Yeah. Um, how do you know when you um, achieved enlightenment? Mm -hmm. How do you know that you 
that you're liberated? Mm -hmm. Like, when is like that moment of realization? Yes. How yes. does it come to you? Yes, that is a very good question. But honestly, I didn't get enlightened yet. <laughs> <laughs> when I get enlightened, I will come to you. <laughs> and through the teaching that I have some idea that I can share with you through the, through the logic understand, let's say, through the logic understand, okay? Not the experience understand. Yeah, here I'm trying to giving you this answer, not my experience understand. This is my, how to say, the logic understand or the learning understand, okay? That enlightened, it is say that as long as you remove that uh, attach, as long as you don't have that attach within yourself, at that moment you can understand yourself, you are liberated. But liberated and enlightened is two different. Okay? The enlightened goes through liberation. Without liberation, no enlightened. First, you have to liberate yourself from those. You have to liberate from karma. In order to liberate yourself from karma, you have to liberate it from afflictive emotion. That afflictive emotion, whether you liberate it from afflictive emotions or not, then you can understand yourself very clear. That very clear. You don't have to ask anybody. As long as you understand the meaning of afflictive emotions, <laughs> then you will understand whether I am out of it or not. Right? When you, if you are out of it, then you can say yourself, I am liberated. Then after liberated, then if you can see all of this that what Shajimana Buddha has taught so far here, then you can say, oh, I'm enlightened. <laughs> so these are the some uh, point that I can point it out by my learning understand, education understand. When the universe is destroyed, does everyone's karma go back? To zero? <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's matrix question. <laughs> yes, it's good. Yeah, I'm also worried about this, you know. <laughs> when I thought, I, I'm hoping that some, it, is somebody is getting my topic or not? This is also one very important question that I want to hear, actually. Yes, I really want to hear this question. Actually, this is very related with this topic. This question, kind of like a very one big point to arise that this question. So if, if, if everything is, every beings are destroyed and our universe is destroyed, then what happened with their karma? They already created a lot of karma, right? Suddenly they disappear, all the karma become zero, balance, zero balance. No, there's a lot of balance, right? They put in a bank. We, okay, sorry, we put in a bank. It can be zero, right? Because I have lots of saving. So now, this answer is that this is therefore Shakyamuni Buddha saying. There are karsure, lingshi jigden chawa thak ya. There's hundreds of billions of worlds. Not world, mare. Yeah. Universe. Yeah, universe. Yeah. Chawa thak ya, chawa ya, chawa ya means you cannot. They probably know. Um, chawa is ten million. Okay, ten million. Times one hundred. Times one hundred. There is a that much universe, not world, universe. Okay? When our this universe is gone, 
There's another is starting. There's another is remaining. There's another is destroying. All over where? It's there. Like that. Not only our universe. Then this also has, a, I, I will let you know now the question. The strange question is, here we also raise that question when I learn. Okay, then when stop burning in a hell, right? And what is going to be that people already create karma to be born in hell? Now where they to go? And they are kind of like a getting free? Kind of like a, kind of like a, hello, kind of like, hello, tharwa. Kind of release from kind of their release kind from of their, their karma. Exactly. Whatever they did is just, no? <laughs> that I have question. Yeah, I, I raised question at that moment. That is actually very important, I think, through this understanding. At that time, what Buddha is saying, that beings is not being born again on this planet, this universal. Now he has to transfer <laughs> to another universe, hell. Oh, okay. You see? Yes, it is. That another universe, hell. He has to transfer. Kind of like a, we are transferring jail to jail. <laughs> this jail is going to renovate. It doesn't mean that you all, all of the prisons <laughs> get out. No, they will put in a tray, trunk, right? Truck. truck. They will put in a truck, truck and well. they will transfer you to another, maybe better, <laughs> better jail. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> now these are logic. Yes, very logic. That Shajamani Buddha, he is lo using lots of logic. Okay, then we are good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this uh this is dough